And now, from Fox 55 News, sports director Justin Prince with the area's most local sports. I'm speechless, man. It's uh, it's so unlikely that I'd be here. If you if you knew my story, you'd know that this is nothing but a testament of, of God's faithfulness and uh, the uncommon things he can do with common folks. And uh, all glory to him. It's celebrating with my family, all, all these guys. Man, to be back-to-back -back champs, that doesn't happen. That's uncommon. And uh, we got a lot of guys, a lot of coaches, this organization, man. We got the heart of champions. Uh, just so happy for, for Chiefs Kingdom and everybody involved. Yeah, evening, everyone. For just the fifth time and the second time in the last three years, Fort Wayne as a Super Bowl champion. Carroll High School grad Drew Tranquil helping the Kansas City Chiefs beat the San Francisco 49ers last night in Super Bowl 58. Drew is now the first Carroll Charger to win a Super Bowl, and we sat down with Drew's high school head coach, Doug Dynan, to catch up about Drew's journey to Super Bowl champ. You know, going from Notre Dame to the NFL, extremely, extremely excited for him, happy for him, you know, draft day, all of that stuff. But now, you know, taking it to the pinnacle and playing in the Super Bowl, you know, the biggest game of all time. And watching him in the game, you know, watching him, you know, Sunday at home with family, you know, and doing the whole thing, you know, a little watch party with all of us. I mean, it was extremely, extremely exciting. You know, we're very proud, very pleased. You know, and he played, and he played well. Obviously, you know, the injuries, the, the multiple injuries he had at Notre Dame, he suffered one as a pro. You know, how cool has this been to see him persevere the way that he has to get to this point in his career? Yeah, without question. I mean, the, you know, two ACLs at, at Notre Dame, and, and Drew came through high school unscathed. And so, you know, you always think that he's never going to be hurt, and then he can't be hurt. And then you know, two ACLs in college, and he recovers from that, you know, and then has the injury, you know, in second year in the NFL, you know, season-ending injury, but continues to persevere, come through, you know, show his commitment, his faith, you know, his love for the game, for his family, for his teammates. He is the story that you want kids to understand, and that is that, you know, perseverance, you know, that hard work, you know, pays off. You know, that being a great teammate, that, that dealing with adversity, you know, understanding what you want and the outcome, and the only thing you can control is your response on a daily moment, and, and that's what he does. Not sure if you saw the video of him on the field last night after the game where, he, you know, he yelled out the heart of the champion. We got the heart of the champion. Uh, how much does he embody that, too? Oh, without, you know, every day. Every day he does, you know, and, and we stay in contact. We stay in communication, and... And he is, he is the heart of a champion. He is, you know, the, the pinnacle of what we want our student athletes to be at Carroll High School. What a cool story. Drew joins Snyder's Rod Woodson, Harding's Trey Essex, Southside's Bernard Pollard, and Homestead's Ben Skoranek as the Summit City Super Bowl champs. We've got more with Coach Dynan up on our website. That's at WFFT.com.